So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at playing a cart in Myriad Playout version 4. And to do that, a variety of different ways. You can highlight a cart, left click and drag it down to an available cart player down at the bottom. So for cart player 1, we can just uh, release it there, open the fader on cart player 1, and then we can click on play down here. So that's uh, one way of doing it. You can also right click on the cart that you want. And from the right click menu, you've got an option here of cue cart queues it into the first available cart player you can also uh, right click here and just choose play cart that will instantly start playing it for you you can also right click and preview the cart as well into a cart player and that will just stick it into preview mode so you can have that one on prefade if you wanted to you can also uh, drag it into a pad we'll take a look at that in a second first of all though, let's just drag it down into back into car player one and we can see the title and the artist gets copied across as does the cart number here 3167 the duration and the s to tell us that it's a sustained ending the big 12 is telling us that the intro is 12 seconds long we can click on there to bring up more information about the cart if you wanted to jump to it in the audio wall add it to the pad which we'll do in a second and then down at the bottom here the cart players themselves we've got a play button a pause requeue and eject so if we're happy we'll hit on play and what we'll first of all see is we'll see the intro counting down and uh, the bar across the bottom here going along when that bar reaches 100% and that reaches zero that's when the vocals will start or that's when the intro end has been set in smooth edit and then uh, once we've reached the intro point the slider goes back down to show overall progress of the whole song and we can now see the duration that we've played the duration that we've got left and we also have a bigger a word there to tell us that it's sustained in end at the end instead of just the single s got little level meters down here and also a volume control here which we can turn up and down you can configure whether that is on or not so we've got the big play icon we're playing the song we can move along the in the song here by clicking along on the status bar with the right mouse button you can see we're jumping along in the song and then if we go down here we get down to when there's nine seconds left we start getting alerted to the fact so we now got a big nine and then when that reaches five seconds it goes red and uh, so it's just really warning us that the song is coming to an end and then you'll see a little yellow line that's uh, the rest of the actual file length but that's after it's hit the extra point so that's kind of not really a usable bit of the song but it'll show you in yellow that it's playing that little item once it's played you can see here that it's emptied the car player and it's ready for us to drag something else in to play Right then, uh, let's also take a look at the pad. That's another way of dragging carts uh, into play and getting them to play out. Uh, the pad you can get to by clicking on View and Display Pad. It brings up uh, basically uh, what looks like a little notepad, really. And you can grab your file, you can drag it into there, and you could drag some more files uh, as you wish. And then when you want them to play, you can click on the play button. It queues up the first one. And uh, what it will do is it will play these songs back to back for you uh, in the first available cart players that it's got. So they are the main ways of playing things out, playing a cart in Myriad. We've obviously got the log, which we'll take a look at in the next chapter, but playing stuff from the audio wall. You can use the audio wall, you can use the pad, and drag and drop is the simplest way and probably the easiest way to get your head around the system to start off with.